What's up YouTube? It's Jordan with J-Dubs Aquatics and I want to do a quick review today on a uh, livestock order from LiveAquaria.com um, I have ordered from them before and uh, in the past I was for the most part I was pretty happy with my order. There was a couple things that were a little undersized that uh, I wasn't too happy about um, but anyway I'm going to talk more about this recent order um, I ordered myself a green toad stool leather, paid for a medium, and supposed to be three to five inches. And what I received here is it's not 100% open because the light's only been on for about an hour. But um, even when this thing is fully open during the middle of the day, it is maybe two and a half inches. It's it's not what they uh, should have sent me. So it should have been green and it should have been bigger. And uh, anyway, I emailed them, and they asked for some pictures, and uh, I was happy to send them some pictures. And um, at first they told me they believe it is a green one, and its color is going to come back, and it was stressed due to shipping. And I had told them about the pictures I had posted in some Facebook groups, and I had probably a dozen people tell me it is not what I ordered. And I was pretty sure when I saw it, it was not what I ordered. Um... Anyway, I also ordered this colony of, uh, it's called pinwheel zoanthids, and you can see it kind of forms like a pinwheel pattern with, of different colors, which I don't know what makes it do that, but it's really cool. But um, I paid for a medium, and uh, it's supposed to be three to four inches, and it's a good three and a half, four inches, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Well, my, the only other thing I ordered was a uh, Montipora frag, and uh, I was okay with that one. It was about an inch. And that's what it said it would be. So I, um, this was my only real problem. And um, disputed that with them a couple times in an email. And uh, eventually they sent me an email back saying, we apologize for sending you the wrong specimen. And sent me a full refund for that coral. And they told me I could keep the coral. So their customer service, once again, has definitely impressed me. Um, I, I have heard some other stories of people getting the wrong things from them and uh, getting uh, undersized coral, but I will say at least they take care of it. Their customer service has always been good, and I don't know what, what's going to happen with this whole Petco takeover, but their customer service, in my opinion, is still excellent. So they could use uh, a little bit better... Uh, help in the uh, hand picking coral section for orders because this isn't the first time I've seen an undersized piece and uh, yeah I also have a zoe frag that's knocked over at the moment but it was supposed to be a big four inch piece and it's it's a twig that's about four inches that had like ten polyps on it so I wasn't very happy about that either but that was quite a while ago um, anyway so they sent me a $60 store credit, and they told me if that wasn't good enough that I could talk to them again and they would give me cash back. But I can always use products from Doctors Foster and Smith. Um, can't place another coral order for 60 bucks, or I'd get a $20 coral at best. So anyway, I needed a few things. So I got a Salifert nitrate test kit. I got... Maxi Jet 1200, and the reason I wanted this thing is uh, for my water changes. I have a uh, smaller Maxi Jet that I use for a mixing pump, and uh, I've been using it to pump the water from my mixing station right up into the tank, and it just doesn't have enough uh, pressure to uh, to get it up four or five feet ahead. So anyway, got myself a bigger pump, and that thing's got six feet ahead, so it'll uh, definitely do the job. Ordered myself a digital thermometer for my 10 gallon frag tank and a bottle of microbe lift. So I didn't get the coral I paid for. Um, I did get a toadstool. I didn't get a green one though, and it's smaller than it should have been. But I also got all this here for free. So I can't complain. Anyway, that's my uh, little spiel on the live aquaria order. And, um, if you're interested in checking out the other video that I was talking about, it's uh, Mile High Reefers, and I will post a link to that video uh, down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching, and happy fish keeping.